So I was just presenting this little thought experiment and I'm just gonna walk through that. And so you don't have to read that. Um, if I can get the thing back up. So, so you don't have to read it. So let's say you've got an agent. Let's say you have an environment. Boop, 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 boop. Just a 2D environment. And then we've got an agent. This is like center of the agent or whatever. And this agent has some sensors. It's got like little legs. I don't know. It has some way to interact with the environment. We can make them simple, something like that. And let's make them little. Oh, come on. Small them down a little. And say this guy. So what? What? What an agent wants to do? <clears throat> you have like this natural curiosity, right? I think. I think life forms have this natural curiosity that they're just pre-programmed with, I don't know, but there's, they have an incentive to explore. So, so what you could do is program somehow, if you can imagine an agent having a representation of space that it builds over time, which is what we talk about, you know, um, if you can program random movements through the space, right, and, and then you can start to get a sense of the space. And, and if you make it a goal, if you added a system to try and have goals and rewards in this, and you made it a goal, like it felt pleasing, it was good to explore more space, right? It's good for this thing, it feels good, it gets a reward when it, re when it explores more space. So over time, you know, your representation of space starts out small and then you bounce around and then you bounce, 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 and then you're like, oh, I like exploring, I like exploring, let's go all over the place. Boom, and then you've learned the whole space, right? <laughs> so now let's say that this agent that we've just has totally like learned its environment right um, and we take that agent and we move it right we let's move it to let's right. let's move it to another environment thanks for the for the follow-up Brandon um, I'm talking about agency and identity right now and so let's say we have another environment over here Let's say it's the exact same environment, right? Okay, so I'm gonna copy this and paste it over here. Let's make it a little, let's make it a little smaller so my point gets across. Okay, it does, it, it, it's irrelevant exactly. But, so let's say we take this agent over here and we, 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 we move him to a new environment, right? So we're now we're in a new environment. But we say, hey, look, you don't get these sensors anymore. You've got a different sensor setup. We're going to we're going to give you you're going to be like on a on a pyramid, right? And it's going to have wheels and it's going to be able to go that way and that way the wheels underneath of it. And your sensors are going to be like there's an IR sensor over here and there's a camera over here and there's a lidar, I don't know. But but the point being that your your what you used to be that like robot or the uh, this thing oh shoot I lost the, the original one but the other the, the thing you used to be with the spider legs you left that behind when that sensor set like everything that you learned everything you you learned as a spider in this world once once you detach the agent even the intelligent system the model because this thing has a model of the world right you move that model over here, it loses everything. It loses this whole, this, I mean, it still exists. It can still have a representation of that. But now you've got this new sensor set over here. So while this guy, let's make him a little bit smaller too, so we can, so while he, he can, he, when he bounces around, like his, his uh, goal could still be the same thing to explore, right? And in the last environment, once you learn a little bit of space, you get better at it and you're like, oh, I know how to explore. You would assume you could transfer the knowledge of space from the first environment to the second, but because we've moved to another sensor set, this guy has to relearn everything. He can't apply any, like, um, he can't apply this knowledge. This doesn't apply. He has to build up over time, just like we did. He has to build up by like bouncing around randomly and then being like, oh, I realize I can explore. This is how you explore, blah, blah, blah. And he has to learn that up entirely in a different way. And these representations are not compatible. 
right? They're incompatible. <laughs> That's a hard thing to understand, I think, when you're thinking about intelligent systems. And a lot of people brainstorm about the idea of like brain transfer, right? And they say, how will, <clears throat> when can I upload my brain to a computer and, and be able to like, you know, wake up in an Android body or something, right? At some point in the future. First of all, that's, that, w that wouldn't be you at all. Whatever wakes up in that Android body would not be you. It would, it would, I don't know what, what it would be, <laughs> but it's not you. <laughs> and the, 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 the way that you would get this transfer to work would, would be to, um, like really detailed associative map of a knowledge of this sensor set versus this sensor set and some really, really detailed, uh, information about how to translate knowledge learned using one sensor right. set versus knowledge learned using a different sensor set. Hey, the Michael Jolly, the man himself. I've, I've watched your stream before. Thanks for following, I appreciate it. Um, it's not even if there was a continuation of conscious experience, not even if there were, even not talking about consciousness at all. Consciousness doesn't have anything to do with this problem. This is a simple problem of intelligence, of an intelligent system learning a space here and then being detached from its sensor set. That's the thing, when, you, when an intelligent system builds up a model of reality, it has to use some type of sensor set to do that. And the model that it creates is directly attached to that sensor set. It cannot be detached from that. So, I mean, this being said, you could certainly have an agent over here with the spider legs that learns an environment, just like we did, and then you put it in a completely different environment and you give it the same spider legs, it will know how to explore, right? So, so in this case, if this agent was stupid at first and it didn't realize what space was and it's just randomly moving and we're rewarding it for exploration, okay? But after a while, it'll realize, oh, this is how I move through space. And it'll, it'll figure out how to explore space, right? In this case, if we move this guy to another to a, another environment with the same sensor set. Um, let's let's make this even more clear that what we're doing. Um, I want this. If we move this guy to another environment, bear with me here. Boop. All right, so it's the exact same, the exact same one, and he's going to immediately apply his knowledge of space that he learned using his sensors in the previous environment and be like, oh, I need to maximize space exploration, Bloop. right? So it'll know how to achieve its goal much faster because it already has learned about space. And this brain transfer is up here because I'm telling you it's really, 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 really way, way far distant in the future and I don't even know if it's possible. And if it were to happen, it would not be you, so. <laughs> um, uh, Nick Neal says, I agree, but man, I've had that chat so many times about consciousness. I still, I don't, I don't think any of this has to do with consciousness. Uh, consciousness, I feel like you can have the, the discussion about com consciousness almost orthogonally to intelligence. Um, you don't have that here in Alabama. <laughs> oh man, let's, I, I'm from Missouri. I'm from the Midwest. So I am empathetic. Um, okay, so that was my discussion I wanted to have. That was based off of this. It was based off a tweet, a tweet thread um, that I did yesterday. And